Hi boys and girls and I have a surprise to show you today and actually it was kind of a surprise for me too. Last night I did see one butterfly and I thought okay I'll wait and show you can see some of them show it to you uh, later. Well this morning they were all out and they've actually kind of gotten it's almost like they knew you were here to see this because they've all become very active all of a sudden. There you can see one there. All 10 of them opened up, which is great. Um, one was just on an or I have an orange slice at the bottom. There you go. You can see them pretty well here. Let me move it over so you can see even better. Now you may see some red um, on spots. Let me see if I can move it on spots of the net right there. That's not blood. It's called merconium. And when a butterfly, there's one way up at the top right now too. Um, oh, and there's some of them. There's one right now taking a sip out of the orange. They like the orange juice. Let me move it up. Let me see if you can see it better. Um, they like the orange juice because it's sweet. So that's what I'm, I've been giving them orange slices today. Um, so anyway, that when they come out of their chrysalid they are kind of wet and the merconium surrounded them inside the chrysalid it helped feed them per, uh, as they developed from caterpillar to butterfly so when they come out of the chrysalid they hang either on the net or they went somewhere on the bottom and they would move their wings and they would dry out and the remaining merconium would come off of them so and there's some of the chrysalids still hanging empty on the lid um so right now oh and when they come out too their tongue is in two separate pieces so one of the things they do is they dry their wings by flexing them and drying them off and eventually they fuse they stick their tongue out and the two pieces fuse together and remain one and then they there he is see they're still some of them are still making their wings stronger they they flex them and they like to stretch them out um and they dry them off so I will probably release them either today or tomorrow because unfortunately butterflies do not have a very long life cycle and I'd like them to have the opportunity to enjoy freedom outside and perhaps lay some butterfly eggs somewhere wherever they land and continue the life cycle uh, out outside somewhere so they may only have a two-week life cycle i know it's very short which is kind of a shame because they're so pretty they're starting to quiet down again i think it's because i moved them so they don't really seem to mind if i'm nearby I don't tap hard because of course I don't want to frighten them or injure them but I'm happy to say that all 10 now you're seeing through the it's much colorful when you see it on top um, none of them none of them are injured last year I had one that came out with a bent wing and it flew not very well but it did fly um, but all of them, including the two chrysalids that were on the bottom of this net, uh, they all developed and they came out pretty colors and seemingly healthy. I'm glad they're kind of flying around a little more now that I'm recording for you. The, the zipper towards the bottom made it easy for me to put the, um, orange slices in for them so there we have 
our butterflies for this year. Um, at least I got to share it with you this way. In person is always better, but this was the best that we could do. I wanted you to see. Let's see if I can get one up close before I, there's some here. Can you see them? Let's see. And it's hard. Oh, there they are. Ooh, actually, you can kind of get up closer than you would be able to. In per oh, there they are. There's a couple on the orange. Um, they have long, skinny tongues. I think you might be able to see. And they they suck the juice out of from the orange. Okay. Uh, so I will put that there for now. And before I go. I'm going to show you, there's the praying mantis egg, still hanging around, not doing anything. They did say it could take a, a lot of weeks. So I hope you're enjoying this day. I'm thinking of you guys uh, with our virtual field trip. So uh, I miss all of you. And I'll be releasing them. Maybe I'll be able to get a picture or two uh, when I release them so you can see it. I don't know that I'll have a video, but uh, perhaps I can at least get a picture or two to send you. So let me see if I can get them to, sometimes the air moving, they, they get excited and they move. Here, well, there he is. Okay, so enjoy this great weather. Hope you get outside somehow to play and see you soon, guys. Bye-bye. Miss you.